by the blood of our people, and your lands kept safe. I see in your eyes the same fear that will take the heart of me. So do all who live to see such time. I hold it all dear to this good earth. There's some good in this world, and it's worth fighting for. Welcome back, everyone. And as the title suggests, we should thank Rings of Power for fixing one of the biggest Jackson's Lord of the Rings flaws. I think this title is way too harsh. So the thing about the flaw that they're talking about is one that we've brought up multiple times, and that is we don't get enough dwarf uh, personality or society in the original trilogy. We get Gimli, and I love Gimli, but he is um more often than not simply the comic relief once mary and pippin break from the company so well and we but yeah it's true because we get we get human stuff yep we get hobbit stuff yep we get elf stuff we get two we get both two elf societies and two human societies and zero yeah. dwarf societies yeah so we do miss a lot we it, it, so we were finally getting to see dwarfs. Yeah. Yeah. And and so you know, we we do see like Gimli does have moments like that and I think this is why I don't consider this a flaw. Gimli does have moments where we do get to see dwarven culture in how he w reacts to certain situations. So, you know, um post battle, you know, going for the the meat and mead um during Helm's deep battle, going and blowing a war horn, that kind of stuff, um, we we get moments, but it's not a, it, it's hard to to piece it together unless you've watched it enough times, like like we have. And so I think to us, we kind of understand Gimli to a much deeper extent than his simple comic one-liners. But to the average viewer who only watches the movies once or a couple times. I don't know how much they're going to really get out of the dwarves. And I've always thought that was uh, maybe not a weakness, but just a place that I wish we would go. Now, however, Jackson does then take us through the dwarves with the Hobbit. Um, but the whole film is like comic relief at that point. And so I think maybe that's more where the criticism should lie. Um, not with the original trilogy, but just in the handling of the dwarves in The Hobbit, because I think we actually get more out of Gimli in terms of a true dwarf like society and, and understanding than we do from some of the dwarves in The Hobbit. And this is a whole company of dwarves with one Hobbit. So uh, that's maybe where the criticism should be uh, in terms of the... Jackson's Lord of the Rings flaw. I think it should be Jackson's The Hobbit flaw. But um, yeah, what, what, like, what are your thoughts? I mean, I I have been harping on wanting more dwarves for a long time because I really like dwarf society in other fantasy novels. But I just don't know if anyone else cares. Like, do you care about the dwarves that much in the original trilogy? Yep. I mean, enough. Yeah. Uh, well. I I mean, I don't know how they would put it in, so I don't think it's a flaw. It's just not part right. of the story. Right, right. Like, that's why I'm not I'm not as big... I, I don't actually think it belongs in the original trilogy, but in terms of... But the, you, I mean, you, you could say this about we don't really see what happens in the East or the South. Yeah. Or, yeah. I yeah. mean, it's so, just not part of the story. That, that's right, that's right. And the fact that the dwarves... I mean, we the, so the idea actually, for me, is that we were supposed to see the dwarves, but they're all dead, right? Like, we're supposed to go into the mines of Moria, but mm -hmm. they're all dead. So it's not like we're just trying to leave out the dwarves, but it was a nice little trick from Tolkien there, where, like, we got excited we're going to see the dwarves, and then not only is it sad that we don't get to see the dwarves, that it's also sad that they're dead, and then, oh, no, now we have to fight. So I actually kind of like that fake out, and it works for me. Uh, I think the the bigger criticism is in The Hobbit, and while I have come around on that movie being okay to watch, I do think that they really dropped the ball on showcasing dwarf society better. We have moments of it, but it's all comedy moments. 
like like literally think of any time that the dwarves are like doing something like unique it's it's played for laughs it's not played for like this is a separate society so that's my but that's we don't but we don't sure. really get like you just have like like what i'm thinking of you you just have it at the beginning like that you get to see the city of like a what a dwarven city mm. looks like yeah it gets destroyed very quickly you yes, don't it does. have a lot of uh you don't get to like see how they operate you're now right we're finally seeing it you're right yeah and so yeah i don't i i think it's not really um I, I maybe fixing a flaw is the wrong words here it's more like finally we're, we're, showcasing we're explo yeah. finally exploring something that we have all been dying to yeah. see. yeah yeah and and so while I, while i appreciate the way tolkien kind of teases it and doesn't fully show it um we do finally get to see and and i do think that the dwarves are one of the better aspects of the show in terms of world building obviously they do have the issue with the mithril um in terms of not being more accurate to tolkien's work but um aside from from that that the, just the society seems to be uh more uh more well-rounded and more uh it's it's well written in terms of like sticking true to what we come to know dwarf stereotypes to be in a way versus like the harfoots are just uh just so weird that it's hard to to appreciate that society and then the humans and numenor are pretty similar so we don't really get there's not a ton you can do there but the dwarves really do seem to stand out in terms of how they how they are different and yet uh they accentuate uh, accentuate some of their uh elements that i think we're lacking because we never see gimli like building anything right like we don't see him actually mine anything because he's always in battle so uh yeah i i thought this was a nice little little touch from the show but you know i'm curious to see what other people have to say i i, I know the show gets harshly criticized and rightfully criticized in some elements uh but the dwarves i don't think it gets criticized so i think for the most part people uh do seem to do appreciate think part, the dwarves. i but also it's and i'll just add this point too that maybe it's easier to criticize the other things because we have so much to compare to i regret to announce this is the end Bid you all a very fond farewell.